hello students so uh, up until last class we looked into uh, double integrals uh, um, how do we calculate the double integral on a rectangular domain and um, we worked out several examples now um, we also introduced um, about the concepts of a double integral on a bounded region so instead of having a rectangle if we have a bounded region then uh, how can we calculate the uh, double integral in such cases so i've also showed you the idea uh, how do we do the calculation today we will work out a few examples uh, just to make those ideas uh, slightly more uh, uh, clearer so today basically we are still continuing with the with the double integral part so uh, we will start with this uh, double integral and uh, if uh, time permits then we shift to change of order of integration all right so let's um, worked out a few examples let's uh, try to work out few examples all right so the first example is example 1 so the first example is evaluate evaluate integral uh, on a bounded region let's say e uh, we are avoiding um, R for the region because uh, by R we also meant rectangle. So we will write the region E and the a and the function or the integrand which we have to integrate is uh, x to the power 3 times y square dx dy uh, where um, E is the region given by x square plus y square is less or equal to a square where a is any positive number. So, here we have to evaluate or we have to calculate this uh, uh, this uh, double integral uh, over the circle x square plus y square uh, equals to a square where a is basically the radius of the circle. So, that means uh, our uh, region of integration. So, if we have x and y, so our region of integration would be this circle where a is the radius. So, we have to perform the area in this region. All right. Uh, we have to perform the integration in this region. So, in order to do that, we have to first of all uh, find out uh, the range for x and the range for y. So, here uh, the given we will write here the given region is uh, the circle x square plus y square is less or equal to a square. So, obviously, a is varying from minus a to plus a similarly y is varying from uh, minus a to plus a. So, we can write the range for y as uh, a square minus x square less or equal to y square less or equal to a square um, So, we can write the range for y as minus a square minus x square to um, a square uh, uh, square root of a square minus x square. So, uh, this will be the range for y and uh, then we can guess the range for a. So, the range for a will be the range or the variable x, the range for x is So, this is the range for our variable x. So, now we have the range for the variable x which is minus a to a and range for the variable y which is minus of a square minus x square to a square minus x square right uh, x cube y square dx dy. So, it is very easy to see um, I mean how we are deriving the range for x and y. So, obviously, x is varying from minus a to a. So, the range for x is um, already uh, known to us. Now, y will vary if x is known then y will vary from uh, here to here. So, this is uh, this 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 is the um, 
how to say the the domain for the variable y so y will vary from this point and then it will cover all these points and then it will go up to here so that's how we are drawing uh, we are um, how to say ca calculating the range for y so now we substitute uh, the range for x and range for y and that is our area or the region of uh, integration so that's our region of our region of integration so we substituted uh, or we replace the uh, replace the region e by the limits of uh, x and y and now from here uh, like um, we saw in the previous lecture that we separate the variable, um, now we separate the how to say uh, here the uh, integral with respect to x and with respect to y. So, if we separate then it will be minus a square minus x square and then a square minus x square uh, y square dy and uh, this can be evaluated as integral from minus a. 2 plus a x cube dx and uh, then here we will have uh, 1 by 3 y cube a square minus x square times uh, and then up to a square minus x square dx. So, if we substitute the value then this will be 2 by 3 uh, 2 by 3 minus a 2 plus a x cube a square x cube a square minus x square whole to the power 3 by 2 dx all right so this is uh, this is the a function of x and now we have to evaluate this integral um, and another interesting point in this uh, integrand is that uh, if I substitute for x equals to minus x then in that case this will behave as an odd function. So, this whole thing is actually an odd function an odd function and we know a small result from integral calculus which says that if if f is a small is a is an odd function is an odd function if f is an odd function then integral minus a to a f x d x will be 0. So, this result so this is um, uh, is a very well known result from the integral calculus and since we have an odd function and since the range of integration is from minus a to a the value of this integral will be 0. So, I can directly write 2 by 3 times 0. So, ultimately 0. So, that means integral over the region E x cube times y square dx dy will be 0 where E was the given um, circle basically. So, this is how we evaluate um, uh, a, um, the double integral over a given region and um, in this case of course, uh, the answer is 0. So, let us see an another example where we have to um, uh, work out a little bit uh, the area of re, uh, the, the region of integration in a way. So, let us uh, consider an another example and another example. So, evaluate integral x square plus y square dx dy over the domain over the domain or over the region over the domain bounded by bounded by x square equals to y and uh, y square equals to x. So, this is our um, how to say area uh, the domain of integration. So, let us first draw the region. So, this is my x this is my y that is 0. So, we have a first parabola which is y square equals to x. So, obviously, it will pass through the origin and then we have second parabola x square equals to y which will also pass through the origin. So, this is the parabola y square equals to x and then we have another parabola which is again passing through the origin. So, something like uh, x square equals to y. So, this is so, I am not very good at drawing. So, uh, uh, roughly this is what uh, our um, second parabola will look like. Now, 
the domain of integration is bounded by these two parabolas. So, it is bounded by these two parabola means uh, the region which is common between uh, I mean uh, between these two parabolas. So, if we can see that uh, uh, this parabola and this parabola enclosed this region here. So, this is our region E or the domain of integration and uh, they intersect these two parabola they intersect at certain point. So, that means uh, our domain of integration or uh, the domain or the region E here let us say region E is basically starting from here to here and uh, of course, it is bounded by these two parabola. So, how do we calculate this um, this uh, area or, or this, this uh, point of intersection. So, here the two parabolas the two parabolas the two parabolas x square equals to y and uh, y square equals to x intersect intersect at the following points. So, if we want to find the point of intersection we basically uh, we basically substitute um, so, we have y square equals to x and uh, we substitute uh, for y we substitute x square. So, this will turn out to be x to the power 4 uh, equals to x. So, from here we can do some factorization. So, this will be x times x minus 1 times x square plus x plus 1 right equals to 0. So, from here these two will give us the real values of x. So, from here we will get uh, x equals to 0, x equals to uh, 1 and uh, this will uh, uh, this will uh, give us um, how to say uh, an imaginary value. So, if we solve this equation if we make this one equals to 0 then in that case we will get uh, imaginary values for x. So, we are not interested in that. So, we will take only x equals to 0 and x equals to 1 as the as the two solutions. Uh, so, this equation is a fourth order equation. So, it will definitely have four solutions, but um, the other two are imaginary. So, we are only interested in real solutions. So, the real solutions are 0 and 1 and when x equals to 0. So, from here. So, when x equals to 0 uh, we have y equals to 0 and uh, when x equals to 1 then we have y equals to 1. So, that means the two point of intersections are 0 0 and 1 1. So, at these two points these two parabola intersect. So, now we have the point of intersection and uh, uh, we can now calculate uh, the limits. Let us call these two points as O and uh, P. So, they intersect at the point O which is 0 0 and the point P which is 1 1. So, now we have uh, here. So, here we have uh, and let us say this is our point Q. So, this is our point Q anywhere. So, this is my point Q which is uh, um, mm, how to say any um, any point on this uh, lower curve. So, of course, uh, uh, at the point uh, at the point. So, we have y equals to x square at the point q and uh, on the upper point let us say p q r. So, and uh, y equals to root x at the point r right. So, at the on this on this uh, how to say uh, lower uh, lying parabola we have y equals to x square. So, that is what I have written that it is y equals to x square at the point q. So, q will be any arbitrary point on this parabola and it will always be y equals to x square. However, on the upper um, uh, how to say parabola um, uh, any point on uh, on this upper parabola uh, it uh, we have uh, y equals to square root of x. So, uh, that is where the y varies. So, y is varying from x square to root x and uh, and uh, if I put and uh, x varies from 
0 to 1. So, that is so x is varying from 0 to 1 all right. So, let us see how we calculate the double integral. So, instead of writing the region now I am writing the range for x. So, x is running from 0 to 1 and y is running from x square to square root of x and then we have x square plus y square um, dx dy. So, now we can again do that uh, uh, separation thing. So, we will first integrate with respect to um, y. So, let us take out dx here and then we will have x square plus y square dy and uh, if we integrate. So, when we integrate this will yield uh, x square y plus y cube by 3 and then range of integration is x square to root x dx and uh, after integrating and after substituting uh, we will obtain 0 to 1 x square times uh, root x minus x square uh, plus 1 by 3 x to the power 3 by 2 minus x to the power 4 dx and uh, this is just uh, how to say an algebraic expression to integrate. I am um, pretty sure you have done uh, such kind of integration uh, in your uh, plus 2 level. So, I will leave this uh, part up to the uh, up to the students and uh, once you integrate you will ultimately obtain 6 by 35. So, that is the required answer. So, here let us go to the previous slide. So, here uh, the uh, how to say region or the domain was bounded by these two parabola. So, drawing this figure always helps um, and it is a suggestion that whenever you come across uh, a problem like that, uh, it is always advisable to first draw the domain of uh, integration because from there you can be able to draw the conclusion that what will be my range of x and what will be my range of y like we did here and uh, then just substitute the values of uh, replace the region E by the values of uh, x and y um, like we did here. So, we replace the uh, region E with uh, the limits for x and with limits for y and then we just do the normal integration and uh, that will give you the answer. So, this was an another example where we uh, where we uh, uh, calculated the uh, double integral bounded by a region. Uh, we will see uh, one or two more examples like that before we jump uh, to our new topic which is change of uh, order of integration. So, let us um, let us consider an another example. evaluate integral over the region E y dx dy over the part of the plane over the part of the plane bounded by the line y equals to x and the parabola y equals to 4 x minus x square. So, here the given curves are slightly tricky. So, this is not our uh, traditional parabola, this is a slightly different form of parabola, but it is still a parabola. And uh, of course, the region is bounded between um, or the domain of integration is bounded between this uh, parabola and the straight line. So, as I was saying that it is always helpful to draw the domain of integration first. So, let us draw. So, that is our x axis and uh, this is our y axis that is the origin. Uh, here we can write this sentence here y equals to 4 x minus x square. So, we can be able to write it as x minus 2 whole square and y minus 4. So, the vertex of this parabola is at the point 2 comma 4. So, let us um, um, let us let us write uh, draw the parabola first. So, let us say this is my vertex and uh, since we have x square minus 2. So, that means uh, it will be uh, um, 
so it will be uh, minus so it will be an inverted parabola so uh, it will go something like this uh, yes and uh, the, it, uh, the region is bounded between the points uh, um, this uh, straight line and the parabola so let us draw a straight line passing through the origin so this is the region of integration and of course they intersect at two points the first one is here i can call it as um, um, uh, let's say p and uh, this region is q any point on this straight line is r and any point on this parabola is s so this is our y equals to x and this is our so this is our uh, x minus 2 whole square equals to 4 minus y all right so now we have to guess the values for uh, these uh, we have to we have to calculate not guess but we have to calculate these two point of intersection so here this is our parabola and uh, it intersects it uh, intersects intersects with the line y equals to x at the following points at the following points so we have um, 4x minus x square equals to y and uh, we substitute for y equals to x here so this is equals to x now if i bring this x here so this is 3x minus x square and uh, this can be written as x 3 minus x so from here we will basically obtain x equals to 0 and uh, x equals to 3 and uh, when x is 0 when x is um, 0 y is 0 and uh, when x is 3 then y is 3 so that means this point of intersection was actually origin so they are intersecting at intersecting at the origin so this uh, origin o can, we can rename it as p so we don't no need to rename twice so they are basically intersecting at the point 0 0 we just saw here and then they are intersecting at the point 3 3 which we also saw so they are intersecting at the point 0 0 and they are intersecting at the point 3 3 and this uh, 0 0 point is named as p the point uh, this uh, 3 3 point is named as q now we have the area or oh, sorry we have the um, point of intersection we need to find out the limits for the variable x and y so that we can replace this region e with those limits all right so here any point on this uh, on this uh, straight line is given by y equals to x so we can write uh, the point like we did in the in the previous uh, in the previous uh, example so we can write the point uh, we have what we have named it we have named it r so the point r is uh, or at the point r uh, we can write at the point r at the point r we have y equals to x and uh, at the point s right yes so at the point s we have y square equals to we have uh, y equals to um, y equals to x square minus 4 x so we have y equals to x square minus 4 x so uh, then our double integral will be 
first we replace the region E by the limits of uh, x and y. So, x is varying from 0 to 3 and y is varying from x to x square minus 4 x and uh, the, the curve which or the function which we needed to evaluate was y dx dy. All right. So, again we do the separation. Uh, so, first we write this as integral from x running from 0 to 3 uh, dx and then integral x to x minus 4 x y dy. Now, if I integrate, if I integrate then this will be y square by 2 uh, integral from x uh, or sorry the limit from x to x square minus 4 x uh, dx and uh, this can be written as uh, 1 by 2 uh, integral from x running from 0 to 3 we will have x to the power 4 minus 8 x cube plus 15 x square dx right and uh, then we just do the integration so it's a basic um, um, how to say uh, integration of an algebraic function. So, I, I leave this uh, uh, integral um, to evaluate up to the students and uh, if you evaluate then at the end you will ultimately get 54 by 5. So, this is how uh, we calculate the area bounded by this parabola and this is straight line. So, remember the rule of thumb is that you always need to draw the figure first. So, once you draw the figure first it will become very clear that what would be our domain of integration uh, because you do need that uh, domain of integration in order to replace this E with those uh, limits for x and y. So, here in this case we draw the domain first and we can see that for this inverted parabola and this straight line they intersect. So, what are the two points they are intersecting? We can solve actually and after solving we obtained that uh, they intersect at the point 0 0 and the point 3 3. So, now that we have the point of intersection we know the range for the variable x and y and then we basically look at the variable y. Um, it is always suggestible to integrate with respect to y first and then do the integration with respect to x and in order to do the integration with respect to y first you need to find out the range for y. Here uh, the range for y is basically y is varying in this direction right. So, y is varying in this direction and uh, the domain of integration is bounded between these two curves. So, first if y is running between these two um, how to say uh, is, uh, these two curves in a way. So, we can take any arbitrary point on this uh, straight line and uh, at those points we will have y equals to x and if we take any arbitrary point on that uh, parabola then at those points we will have y equals to 4 x minus x square. So, that is what we have uh, done ok. So, uh, so, here there is a small error we can correct it. So, 4 x minus x square sorry. So, this is basically uh, 4 x minus x square this is also 4 x minus x square uh, yeah and then just calculating this algebraic expression will give you the required answer. So, this is the way we uh, evaluate the integral over a certain region or over a bounded region in a way. So, it is not only that you always have rectangles uh, for the double integral you may also have regions bounded regions basically and uh, you that is that is how you basically evaluate those uh, integrals. So, you just have to draw the domain and then guess the uh, range for the variable x and y and um, uh, there are several examples which we can work out, uh, but they are more or less of the similar type. So, it is nothing that uh, I can um, I can teach is just that you have to practice a lot of examples like that, so, but the basic idea is same. Um, I will include uh, some problems like that in your assignments uh, for you to practice and uh, for you to clear your doubts and we will also uh, look um, how to say provide the solutions of them as well and hopefully um, it will uh, help you clear out uh, the doubts if in if you have at all in this um, double integral over a region or over a rectangular domain. So, we will stop uh, today's um, uh, lecture uh, here and uh, in the next class we will begin with um, change of uh, order of integration. Thank you.